I am so beyond grateful because I know if I were to go that night, I, I would have missed out on my whole life. I'm, I was only 16 years old when it happened. You're hearing from Kennedy Little Dyke of Burley. She survived a horrific car crash in May of 2021. Her recovery has been long and tough. But now this teenage girl is inspiring people all over the world with her determination and resilience. Maggie O'Mara has her remarkable story tonight. She is our seventh hero. We do want to say, though, that some of the photos of the accident scene may be sensitive to our viewers. Kennedy Little Dyke was looking forward to a night out with her friends. And they were like, let's go watch the sunset at the D. And the D is, we have a mountain that is right, like three miles away from my house. And there's a bit at the base, there's a big D on the mountain for Declo. And we normally will sit at the base and watch the sunset. So I overcorrected. And then I guess I overcorrected too far. And we started flipping and rolling. And I don't know how many times we flipped and rolled, but my car was pretty far out in the field at that point. All three teens were thrown from the car, but unbelievably, Kennedy was actually launched about 30 feet up onto an overhead power line. I don't remember much being on the wire, but I do remember being up there, um, my first memory, and it was pitch black and I was really high upside down and I was confused. And I just remember trying really hard not to cry. And then my next memory was when I was hanging up there and I remember looking down at everyone and there was a white tarp underneath me and it, it felt like there was a lot of people, but I'm not quite sure. And I remember they were all just looking at me and I was confused why they wouldn't just get me down. It was something first responders had never seen before. Getting her down safely was next. She still remembers the hero who did just that. I remember looking him in the face and I said, you've got to get me down. I don't know how much longer I can't, I can't hold on. Um, he was like, we're trying to here. We're almost there. I don't know how you would not believe in God after you go through something like that, because no way God didn't have a hand in it. Kennedy was rushed to the hospital with broken bones and a severe leg and arm injury. The doctors couldn't save her leg. They had to amputate. So everyone in the room was all upset and I could tell something was wrong, but I, they, I didn't know. And I just remember telling them it's going to be OK. And look at me now, I'm walking. This strong girl has defied the odds. She now has a prosthetic leg. And as you just heard, she is walking again. After months of physical therapy, she's not only walking, she's running and swing dancing. I started TikTok, and that's when I did my goby dance. This season, she had the chance to play in the senior night soccer game with her Declo high school teammates. And that meant everything to her. But Kennedy says it hasn't always been easy to keep a positive attitude. And then after, it like hit me hard. With me. I felt like I was a nobody. I, I wanted to hide myself in a way because like I wasn't who I used to be. I just constantly had people all around me and the love and support. And then my Instagram, uh, my sister started it and the comments and the DMs I was getting just inspired me so much. Social media has been a big part of her healing. She posts on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Just having everyone cheer me on has helped so much. I get comments all over the world. I People will be like sending love from like France or Sweden. Like I've had some crazy places and I'm like, no way, how did I get there? There's a lot of you're inspirational, you're strong. Or they tell me, or my DMs will tell me some of their personal experiences with stuff I'm kind of going through. And it kind of helps that, like, I'm not the only one out there. Kennedy says she has learned so much through her journey. You're happy in your own body. Perfect. Don't worry about other people, because that's what I've learned, is to just be confident in myself and just don't worry about what other people look like. Worry about you, because you're all beautiful just the way you are. And I've had, kind of had to learn that. And she has so much to be thankful for. I am so grateful to like have the support system I do have and all the love and support from everyone. Kennedy Little Dye. I'm just grateful to be here, to be able to possibly go after all my dreams and accomplish all my goals. Seven's hero. Much more you, Kennedy. In fact, she plans to either go to BYU-Idaho or Utah State next year. She hasn't quite decided which one. 
and no doubt she will continue to inspire people wherever she goes. Wow, right on, right on.